sunny to well rainy real quick hope it doesn't get too bad because i'm out here now going back out here too far to turn around now it's gonna happen any second i knew it was gonna happen old chalky Start. And I found an elk shed. Couldn't believe it. Finally ended up in the right place. Last year's brownie. Yeah, that's cool. Hopefully there's another one around in here. Well, I'm sitting here drinking some water and I looked down here and I saw something kind of looked like a bone so I glassed it up. And Sure enough, it's an old one. I'm right there this whole time. Nice. Old one. It's a good sign. Even though this was one of the hardest ones to find, might mean more around. I'm gonna get him. I was walking this path and I knew it's the one I had to take because it's the one I hadn't taken yet this whole time. And I'm gonna catch the time. Actually, I saw all the fur first, and then I looked in harder. Old dead buck. All grossed up. Nice little four point. It's a good day. Found an old one. Funny looking old one. That's cool. More to come. I just hit the edge. I was getting dumped on hardcore and I caught this big bad brownie. Hey, that's a nice one. Pretty cool little brownie. Not as big as I thought it was. But Good one. Toasted! That's why you go out, even when it's windy as hell. Just came up underneath that ditch and saw it here just sleeping. Took it out. Pretty crazy. It got him right through the face over here. A tripod today because got a late start and had to catch up so paid off though look what I got nice more well I got lucky and I glassed myself up a brownie freshy Not a very big one. Perfect timing. Looks like a hard white. Nice. Good color on that side still. Hard white for sure. It's a good morning. Already got my antler spotted. Let's go see what it is. It's got frost on it. Little goofball. Nice. Good one to add to the brownie pile. Got this coyote up here spotted chasing some deer. Hopefully it stays busy over there until I can get closer. Let's kill it. I got to about right here before I seen it. Hog brownie. 
It's moments like these that I hike all day for and all week for. Picking up freshies like this one. Not as big as that other one I was trying to match up. This is a good start. Let's see if I can match them up here. Let's go get them. Stacking them up. Let's match up that big one. Well, I've been circling this whole place looking for the other side. I went and picked up this little two point that I glassed up and then I figured I'd come back and put my pack right down here where I found the shed at. And figured I'd just look a little bit harder and I looked hard enough. I got the other side right here in the bush. That's cool. That's so awesome. And I walked by it on both sides, just completely covered up in tumbleweeds. Well, I didn't catch it soon enough. Here's the first side, and here's the second right here, tucked up in this brush. There he is. I did it. Took me an hour, but I ended up back here and saved it. Let's get the rest of them. A little two point. Nice. Everything I've been finding today has been brown. Nice. Little, little four point. They get way smaller every time you get to them. Nice big old one. Whoa. Nice big one. Look good on my backpack. Lucky me. Pick the right line for this one. <laughs> Another little brownie forky. Second one of the day. Put this one in my pocket. Let's get the big ones. Hopefully a coyote shows up. Let's get a coyote. Yeah! Coyote down! Yeah! Oh, that's the one that got away earlier. I'm running down the hill stash my backpack and it was still on the next ridge. I watched it disappear. I ran as fast as I could. I got up, I peeked over and I could see him and he was bedded down on the next one down, looking back. And uh, I had all this grass in the way, I couldn't get a clear shot and so I had to just sneak and sneak and sneak and sneak and sneak and then finally I got to where I knew the barrel wasn't going to shoot into the dirt. I just heard it smack. Oh, he's done. Let's go see him. It was such a hard stop. He was running like the wind down the canyon. And, and uh, he was laying down, facing back, watching his trail, seeing if anything was following. I had to crawl over that rise, that little knoll, just quiet enough. When I let the trigger go, it went thwack. Nice. Saving, saving animals. One day at a time. Here, hunting down coyotes and picking up sheds my hardest. And it's been a struggle to pack everything. And when I saw this coyote, he was taking off running the opposite direction. And he'd already gotten away once before today, but I wasn't going to let it happen again. So I dropped my pack and I ran and I probably ran almost a half mile without my pack before I was able to catch up to him. He was laying down right here and I got up to that knoll and was able to make the shot, drilled him. It's been a good day. I can handle a brownie like that one. Nice little two point. Day is not over. Here, I saw him, he was about 200 yards out. He went taking off, and I, I let him by about two feet. I said, All right, it's gotta be it. Boom! And I watched him just tumble down. Yeah! Oh, that's what it's all about, making it happen. Oh, and I've been making it happen so much lately. That's five dogs. Five dogs. Not 
not even calling, just shooting. Oh, uh, let's go get them. Look at that. Came over the rise and she was taking off so fast. I thought, man, I'm never going to get this one, but I got to try. I loaded one up and I followed with and, and I watched her roll down. Let's see what we can finish out with.